If you've been waiting for the new Samsung Galaxy S22 device, then the team at Appalachian Wireless has some good news for you. Appalachian Wireless is launching all Samsung S22 models on sale. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Pikeville Police Department will be adding a new form of protection to its force. This week, Pikeville PD has begun distributing Level 3 plate carriers designed for taking on high-risk situations to its officers. Public Information Officer Tony Kahn reveals how the new carriers help the department. Well, these are, these are of course, Level 3s, and these are made to stop a higher caliber weapon. And we serve search warrants here, uh, especially... Uh, uh, interdiction stuff. We serve those search warrant, we do entry. So these, these vests are another way that the city has sought to keep us safe. It, it, this will protect us against higher, higher caliber rounds to our vital organs. Uh, normally, when we do serve warrants, search warrants, things like that, and we're, we're serving those warrants and they're gonna be drug related. It's gonna be uh, basically uh, looking for illicit narcotics. And where you most of the time find narcotics, you're gonna find a weapon. Um, so that's what these vests are for. Our city uh, bought these, and it's just another tool that we can use with all the other equipment they buy us and, and get us in, and, and outfit us with to keep us safe and better serve the citizens of Pikeville. And while Pikeville PD received extra protection for their efforts, one officer's efforts were recognized with a governor's award. Well, it's Officer Kobe Hobson, and uh, he's been officer with us uh, several years now. Um, he, uh, he won the Governor's Award for Occupant Safety, which is a seatbelt award. Uh, very, very, very prestigious award to win because it means you are getting out there and really hustling around and enforcing their seatbelt laws. And that's one of the main things is to wear your seatbelt. We, when, they, when they changed it to a primary offense many years ago, it made it much easier to you know, educate people and enforce the law with it. And seatbelts save lives and it's, it's proven. So he, he wrote the most seatbelts in the, in the uh, seatbelt violations in the uh, department and received the governor's award. And it's, 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 a, it's a good thing to do. So. Lastly, so, uh, while Khan says Hobson received the reward for seatbelt and DUI violations, he says his officers always go above and beyond to keep people safe. Well, it, with, with our officers, it's, it's kind of bragging rights too, but they get out here and they, everybody here absolutely goes above and beyond. Uh, People that live in the city, the citizens, the businesses that are here, our administration, they see it every day. But it's good, and it makes the officer feel good to, to get a pat on the back or, or, or receive awards like this. Even though they don't expect it, it, it's a good thing for them because it shows it's something they can show their families. Look what, I, look what I do. Look what I've done. I have basically, probably more than likely, saved hundreds of lives by making them put their seatbelt on. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.